Alright, so let's set up a cobbler server for Pixie Boot. First thing we need to do is create a new virtual server. I'm going to use Ubuntu. Next, give it 512 RAM, should be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you can give it 8 gigabytes, but if you want a lot of distributions, you might want to give it 16. Uh, create, create. Alright, cool. So here we go. You can just start that up. Uh, cancel this. Just go to devices, CD devices, choose the virtual CD. Go to where your Ubuntu server ISO is located, which is for me on my NFS storage. It's a bit weird, alright. Didn't have it mounted, that's why. Uh, do that again. Devices, CD devices, choose a virtual CD. There we go. So let's get Ubuntu server. I use 32 bit, you can use 64. You probably want to use 64, but uh, yeah. Uh, oh, this is just because of networking, no doubt. Save the settings version. No, I think this is because. All right, let's restart this. Remove. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think it's because I just only now mounted my FS even to cobbler. Demo. Next, 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 next. Yeah, it's all good. Change that to 16. Next, create, create. Alright. Cancel devices, CD, choose virtual CD, Ubuntu. No, fuck it. And then restart the machine. There we go. English, install Ubuntu server. Yeah, I'm English. Doesn't matter. Uh, you, yeah. I'm gonna use the United States. No. US, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's it set up with DHCP for now, but uh, we'll set it statically later. You don't have to change the name, but it's fine. Apple name. Enter username and password. Don't need to have a crypt my home directory. Uh, fine, yeah. I don't really care what my time zone is. Might be important to you. Uh, default is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Oh, one thing we all need to do is set it up so it looks like a 
complete its uh, own device, so bridge the adapter, allow all cable connected, eight zero. If you're on your wireless, you'll need to change that to wireless LAN, but I'm not. Ah, uh, Ethernet's the only way to fly. It will make things much easier if you have a gigabit Ethernet connection, because you'll be loading files over your network later. In fact, I believe I'm actually installing this to my network, and it's fast because I have gigabit. Private virtual BX VMs. Yeah, here we go. See, this is on my private mounted NFS. Drum roll, please. Don't need a proxy. I guess this is when you go and make a cup of tea. I didn't think it would take so long. Nope, uh, oh, oh, it's done. I need to run a speed test. I always suggest this, because you might just leave it running for days on end. You want to be able to do that. Uh, up an SSH so I can SSH in. I don't like using VirtualBox shell. Uh, yep, that's it for now.
let it do its thing. Yeah, it's fine. All right, after it's rebooted, you need to unplug the drive. It doesn't do it automatically, but I think it has. Yeah, the CD is not loaded. Let it start up. Cool. And you are in. You have a Ubuntu server with OpenSSH. That is the end of part one. Thank you.